Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast. You're listening to Block Squawk, technically speaking, the third um, segment in the podcast uh, where we review uh, technical aspects of uh, the cryptocurrency space, specifically Bitcoin. Um, So if you're interested in like a snapshot of the market, we had that's the first segment, snapshots. Uh, Second uh, segment is going to be Block Talk, where we talk about news and stuff like that. And then this is, of course, the technical rendition. Uh, Nothing you hear on the podcast, stream, YouTube video, etc. Today is is trading advice, guys, or or financial advice. Uh, Strictly this strictly for educational and informational purposes. So with the disclaimer out of the way, let's get started on the chart. Um, You're going to have to excuse uh, the uh, number of support and resistance lines I have up. It's Bitcoin, guys. So um, uh, as we move up, it'll clear because a lot of these a lot of these movements were were uh, a lot wilder. Um, so uh, we're likely to have a lot of volatility moving through this space here. Um, but we'll um, we'll take a look. Um, we can see that we've been in an upward trend uh, since uh, like um, basically February, depending on how you want to cut it. Uh, but this craziness really started back in April. Um, and so uh, that's what it looks like on uh, the daily chart, daily candles, guys. Bitcoin right now is trading at 84.70 and 70 cents. Uh, time on the universal clock is uh, 6 a.m. UTC for the 1st of June. And uh, local time here in San Antonio, guys, is 1 a.m. Uh, just to get that out of the way. So let's take a look at the four hour and the one hour real quick. Um, I'm just going to kind of glaze over the four hour, uh, but we can see that we've been in an upward trend channel um, and that's been holding steady. Uh, but because it's been holding steady for, for such a long time, I'm wondering if we are uh, not going to... Um, I'm wondering if we're, we're going to be uh, pull, pulling back or retracing here soon. So um, if you follow me on TradingView, I'm Jay Benavides on TradingView. And I put out a put out a, a, an analysis a couple of days ago, basically pointing out that we had this big uh, bull, uh, the, this big pull right here on uh, on the 26th of May at 1900. And uh, and then we started consolidating in a, in a small downward trend. Um, and so uh, being that we were in an uptrend initially uh, and that this was within that trend, it kind of t- tells me to look towards the upside. So, um, so it's my favorite pattern because it's absolutely simple. I just kind of measure this distance, right? And we get about $915. We're looking at the... Uh, at the linear chart. Um, so that's kind of where I get the measurement from for this breakout. I measure from the bottom of the of the, of the the flag. This is, this is the flag right here. Um, and uh, that kind of tells me where to look at. But we had a fake out. Uh, what I'm learning is called the Judas candle in Bitcoin circles. And so, yeah, it was a fake out. We got real close to the target uh, and then pulled back drastically. Uh, within that hour Uh, if we pull up the five minute chart we can see exactly how it all went down Uh, and I want to say it happened over the course of of about 30 minutes or so we just uh, dropped down the most of it happened immediately after that that jump Uh, we we kind of slipped out of the 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 flag at about 450 uh, on the 30th of May and kind of drifted out and the breakout occurred at uh, about 1540 on the 30th of May. That's UTC time. Uh, broke out from 8760 and uh, didn't quite reach my target of, uh, of uh, 9290. Um, it, uh, it, it came right back down from, from 9114. So classic fake out. We a, uh, formed a t- tiny little kind of a like a bull flag or a triangle, bear, uh, bear, tr- bear triangle, and then broke down further. But um, and it did and it did drift out of our overall bullish trend channel briefly for you know like 10, 15 minutes, and then we came back up and we've been there ever since. Um, so um, 
uh, Friday's here. It's come and gone, and there hasn't been too much of a sell-off. Um, it looks like there's a, a little bit of a, a bullish candle, I mean a bearish candle right now, uh, about 10 minutes ago. Uh, but it hasn't been too crazy. Um, Friday statistically are, are, are sell days and and, uh, and and Saturdays are buy days. Um, so uh, we may see uh, a little bit of a continuation back up to the to the upside tomorrow and throughout the night. Uh, but as I was saying in previous uh, previous streams, I don't think we're gonna uh, make it past 10k without. Uh, without without retracing a little bit guys so um, we can see that there's a little bit of resistance at this uh, 9400 approximately 9400 and then uh, there's a there's a major line of uh, resistance up at like 9860 um, so and then of course above that is that psychological 10k level so um, I'd be surprised to see us go above that I would start getting really perplexed about the history of this trend or the the health of this trend after 10k so i'm kind of looking for a retracement we'll have to see how that goes um let's take a look at the daily real quick i was looking earlier and we're still well above the 200 day moving average uh on the daily chart guys um but uh stochastics over the last couple of days have crossed down below the overbought line uh, so depending on how low that drops, uh, I mean, the breakout could be imminent. MACD is all, also uh, uh, overbought. Um, the uh, signal line, I can't really see. I need to really pick that up. So we're kind of whipsawing on the signal line up uh, around overbought territory right now. And volume is kind of like moderate. It's not exceptionally high, but it's uh, not really low. Kind of like what we've been seeing uh, mixed uh, but we had a we had a, a, a overall bullish day, uh, not exceptionally bullish. But so we'll just have to see how the week turns out, guys. I'm really exhausted. I have to get out of here. Of uh, it's 1 a.m. I gotta wake up at like 4:30 in the morning. Uh, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna cut it short. Uh, but if uh, you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, my name is Joel Benavides. You can reach out to me on Twitter at Joel Benavides or email me joel.benavides at gmail.com. Uh, this has been Block Squawk, one of three segments in the new format. Um, and uh, so I'm just trying it out, see how it's going to go. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more labor intensive, but hopefully we'll get into the swing over the next couple of uh, days and weeks. Um, so we'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, if you uh, want to contribute, you can head over to anchor.fm forward slash block squawk and uh, hit the support this podcast button. It would help immensely in the longevity, uh, maintenance, and improvement of block squawk. So we'll see you guys later. Good luck trading tomorrow. Um, and I am out of here, guys. Cheers.